welcome to vaishayas so we'll be continuing with the plums series of polity governance and schemes today okay so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing this channel so that you will be getting daily free updates on upsc and if you are looking for a good quality test series then you can contact the number which is given on the screen 7200681675 The first question reads how many statements are correct about 91st constitutional amendment act of 2003 okay so <clears throat> the constitutional amendment acts important ones important constitutional amendments and the respective provisions become important from both upsc prelims and mains so three statements are given and you have to select how many of these statements are correct first statement reads the total number of ministers including pm in the central council of ministers shall not exceed 15% of the total strength of the lok sabha yes this statement is correct it is a static it is a, a very static statement from the lakshmi kant okay it's a very conventional statement uh, so this statement is correct a member disqualified on the ground of defection shall also be disqualified to be appointed as a minister yes logically this has to be correct and with respect to defection you have other provisions also apart from 91st amendment you have other provisions also related to defection so when you are revising this portion please revise along with those uh, those provisions also so that it becomes crystal clear for you so this statement is also correct third statement reads a member of either house of parliament or either house of a state legislature disqualified on the ground of defection shall also be disqualified to hold any remunerative political post this is also correct so all the three statements are correct and here the correct answer com comes out to be c all three statements now come to the next question how many statements are correct parliament or state legislature can impose reasonable restrictions on fr of public servants in the interest of integrity honesty etc this is correct so all these statements whenever you see the <coughs> pattern of statement and whenever you get the keywords you should be able to derive whether it's a conventional statement or whether it's a tweaky statement whenever you see it's a statement from your notes or lakshmi kant or uh, a such static static knowledge okay when you whenever you are seeing a statement which is directly picked from your standard textbook standard fact i would say this standard fact so whenever you see this as a, this as a standard fact you should be able to recognize that those statements are always correct okay so here this is correct so for that for recognizing or for differentiating between a standard fact and a non standard fact so you have to be clear with what are all the standard fact whatever is not a standard fact is going to be ultimately a non standard fact and in non standard fact you have to think further and make a decision whether it's correct or wrong so second statement parliament can create new all india service if rajya sabha passes a resolution declaring that it is necessary in national interest to do so and such a resolution rajya sabha should be supported by two third of the members present and voting so this is also a static statement a static statement and here uh, the way by which they can tweak the statement is like instead of rajya sabha they may give lok sabha instead of two third they may give one third and instead of uh, resolution in rajya sabha they will be giving uh, resolution in lok sabha so you have to you you should be able to pick up the keywords and then connect the dots so here the statement is correct two is correct tenure of office article 310 members of defense civil service of the state a center and all india civil services under the state the center hold the office during the pleasure of president is yes. even though this is sounding something unfamiliar or something uh different this statement is also correct and please note this statement this is an important statement many people neglect this uh this particular provision so they can pick up uh, so according to the pattern the according to the pattern in which upsc prelims paper is set nowadays we can expect such a pat uh, such a statement in the coming upsc prelims so please take note of this statement what is article 10 and it is during the pleasure of state pleasure of president you may think that since it's all all india services civil services they may not be under um, since they are having clear provisions clear service conditions they may not be under pleasure of president you may think like that but it is not true it is under pleasure of president okay so here third statement is also, third statement is also correct and the correct answer comes out to be all the three statements are correct now come to the next the maximum and minimum number of seats in legislative council of a state but actual number of seats to be filled by each such method has to has been left to be 
provided by law and this provision is stated in so this and the mat pattern of question they may be picking up direct statements from the constitution okay direct statements from the constitution and they may give some provisions uh, or uh, either they can be from the constitution or they can be from the parliamentary conventions they will be picking certain statements and they will be asking in which of the provisions this particular provision is noted or this particular provision is mentioned in which of the following so here the statement is given and four statements uh, four provisions are given uh, whether this provision is stated in parliamentary law article 171 article 170 neither constitution nor law but as a convention so out of this which is correct so here you may get confused if you are not aware of if you are not clear cut about the provisions of the constitution so here the correct answer comes out to be b this very statement uh, by logic you can understand it has to be stated in constitution such an important statement so it may not it uh, logically it, it should not be left to the convention in that case there will be a lot of chaos in the constitutional machinery so such an important provision has to be stated in the constitution if we think practically so out of b and c which is the option so this one is tricky uh, this one if you have to I, I would say this is a tougher part of the question so if such a question comes if you are not aware of uh, which is the exact provision then i would say leave this question <clears throat> in another way how you can think is when you are knowing the range like article 1 to 5 what it is talking about article 100 to 120 what is talk what it is talking about like that if they are giving some options like article 171 and article 1 uh, 122 then you can guess uh, by seeing the range article 122 it is dealing with some something else and article 171 it is nearly related to these all provisions like every article every provisions are having a range like from some provisions will be continuously talking about the president like 52 53 etc so, uh, some of the provisions will be talking about the president so in that way also you can guess so if uh, the case is that if they are giving some court, uh, article numbers which is far apart then you can use that logic you have to think uh, out of these articles which is the article which is more closer to the provision stated in the question so here it is not like that it is very close 170 and 171 so this is a tougher part of the question and this you can attempt only if you are ready to take risk and you have to attend the question even after attending some 50 60 questions you are not confident enough and uh, yeah, it is very important for you it is it is a necessary for you to attend some more questions if you have to pass in that case you have to take this risk otherwise i would not suggest to take such a risk if such a question comes so here the correct answer is 171 now come to the next which of the following statements are correct constitution declares that validity of any law relating to delimitation of constitution cannot be questioned in any court yes this is the very static statement delimitation we have dealt earlier also okay because this is important i am again repeating this portion and taking questions from this topic the orders issued by delimitation commission become final and cannot be challenged in any court yes delimitation commission it's a such a, it's such a powerful body that uh, uh, such provisions are there the it cannot be questioned in any court it cannot be challenged in any court such provisions exist for delimitation condition uh, commission and this is a very powerful body so please uh, go and check which what is the cons what is the constitution of delimitation commission like what are the constituent parts how much how many members are there and how the decisions are taken it is a ad hoc body or permanent body like that you have to make a decision you can make a uh, circle like this and you can make like this you can state every provisions then keep it simple and keep it handy for your revision okay now come to the next here the correct answer comes out to be both one and two okay both statements are correct now come to the next question which is correct constitution specify the official languages of different state is this logically a function of constitution to specify the official language of different state no it is not okay so uh, the official language regional language you uh, today's homework will be for revising that portion official language and regional language and what are the constitutional provisions and parliamentary provisions with respect to these two aspects so here a is not correct the legislature of a state may adopt not more than one language in use in the state or hindi as the official language of that state this statement seems to be correct but there is a small mistake in this statement if you are able to find out that then you are on the right path so please read the statement once again pause the screen and please uh, take care or please try to discover what is the mistake please try to point out what is the mistake okay 
so here the mistake is it is not more than one language it is given like not more than one language actually this is not the case even more than one language can be taken okay so in a state like uh, telangana or maharashtra if some uh, if it is like more than two languages are frequently in use in the state then both of that languages can be picked up it is not like only one language can be picked up okay this is incorrect more than more than one language can also be picked up okay either hindi or more than one language can be picked up by the legislature as the official language so the incorrect thing in the statement is more than one language may not adopt okay it is given may not adopt more than one language the correct statement is can adopt more than one language one two three languages if three languages are in frequent use in the state then both uh, the, the three languages can be adopted as ad adopted as the official language okay then c so here b is incorrect c official languages act 1963 english should be used for the purpose of communication between union and the non hindi state yes this is a correct statement so c is the correct statement so we have found out the answer even though we'll be looking at the next statement also when the parliament on a demand being made is satisfied that a substantial proportion of the population of a state desires use of any language spoken by them to be recognized by the state then he may direct that such language shall also be officially recognized in that state so here there is a small mistake here it is not the parliament but it is the president okay if in the place of parliament if the statement would have given the word as president then the whole statement is correct so here the only incorrect aspect in the statement is instead of parliament the correct thing should have been president so president is the one president is the authority uh, who is doing this particular function uh, the if the president is satisfied substantial proportion of the state uh, they they are requiring us uh, 60% of the population or 40% of the population of a state desires to use any language okay any language uh, as the any la language spoken them to be, uh, by them to be recognized by the state then officially it is to be recognized so this particular duty is of president it is not parliament okay so here president comes into play so this statement is a very very tricky statement uh, 90% of the students will be making mistake in this statement and uh, many many candidates they are not aware of this particular provision in the constitution so here even this statement is incorrect and the correct answer comes out to be c okay c is the correct statement and all these four statements are very very important uh, so please uh, take the correct statements i have said uh, what are all the points which are incorrect in all of these four statements so please make note of this point okay that's the end of today's session so we'll meet in the next week in the next episode until then stay tuned thank you